Y'all gather around because we got to talk. The way that they are moving with this particular narrative is a problem for me and it's giving me stress and I deserve nothing but joy, peace, and happiness. What's good, y'all? She gets to Sarah Cobain coming to you right here on Eric Cobain TV with another All-American Universe video. In this video, I want to talk about a specific storyline that I have my eye on. And while they are sliding it in here and they are making it very coy and just kind of pushing along, it has tons of other drama happening around it so you could easily miss it. I'm on top of that ish, okay? And that is the storyline of Damon not knowing that Simone is single. It has now been two episodes as I'm filming this after episode 12 premiere, before the episode 13 premiere, which is the season finale. And we have yet to see Damon find out that Simone is actually not with Jordan. He is operating under the guise that she is. Now, before I get into this and start this conversation, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications because we have all of the best conversations around All American, All American Homecoming, the All American universe as a whole right here on Eric Vane TV. And you're gonna wanna join the tribe by hitting subscribe, okay? You don't wanna miss out on any of my videos, which are episode breakdowns, character breakdowns, scene studies, as well as conversations around specific plot points and storylines you name it we're talking about it we keep the conversation going and this is the best place for you if you don't have other people to talk about your favorite shows with Erica Vane TV is here for you okay we are literally just as obsessed as you are about these series so let's keep the conversations going let's make sure you don't miss out on anything so hit that subscribe button and without further ado let's talk about why they're keeping Damon in the dark because he's 100% in the dark we first got to see this when Simone is struggling post breakup after she returns from the winter break and she wins her tournament her teammate wants to take her out and she's like yeah go talk to Jordan you got 20 minutes to talk to Jordan but then we're going out and it's tell Jordan I said hi and Simone has a moment of like this is the first time it's actually hidden her that her life is changed in a way that Jordan is not going to be there on the other end of the phone to hear about her winning this match or hear about her day or whatever and she really has an emotional peak which is not necessarily a positive one. It's definitely a negative, depressive moment that sends her running to her room and Damon happens to be in the common area at the same time and he sees this and he follows her there because he can see that she's visibly distraught. I did a whole scene study on this ep I mean, on this particular scene. So if you want to deep dive into the scene specifically, then check that video out. It'll be linked in the cards above as well as the description box down below. But in this moment, Damon literally like purges a lot of his thoughts and feelings. And he says, I know that I crossed the boundary for you and Jordan. And she kind of cuts him off and just goes into what she wants to say and rejects him in this moment and this is the first time that he is not privy like he has the opportunity to learn but is not privy to like the thing that she has going on is the fact that she's going through a breakup one that she actually initiated after seeing something similar happen with him and Layla that was happening with her and Damon and those are y'all's words not mine because I don't think it was the same but okay now that's the first time then in episode 12 I feel like the the creatives behind the show really spent the block because if you didn't pick up on it when Simone and Damon were talking and she just kind of brushes past it he's like yeah you have Jordan and she's like well you got Thea and she doesn't mention that oh we're actually broken up then they spin the block when Damon is sitting and having a conversation with Thea because when he asks her is there anything that you want to tell me she flashed back to a moment where Nate tells her that that Jordan and Simone broke up and that she needed her black scarf back so that she could do the ceremony that we saw with Simone putting a lot of those memories to rest and starting the grieving process right and Thea chooses not to share this with Damon so there's two times in episode 12 where he could be let in on the information that Simone is actually single that she's no longer with Jordan but she, but he is not so that makes three times in total and I'm like they're not doing this for no reason and this honestly y'all is the thing that brings me the most concern because while I think that Thea is a great partner in a in a perfect match for Damon in this season in his life like who he is right now that we see this part feels like it's a setup for the destruction of Dia before it can fully even get started because now I'm wondering why is this information so important that they have to keep it from this main character or that they're trying to keep it from this main character and the only answer to that is because that character is going to have a visceral reaction about it whether good or bad most likely bad they are going to have a huge reaction about it it is going to be a big point of contention it's going to be a big moment Otherwise, it would not be a secret. It would not be information that is being held back. It would not be information that is being presented as if it's kind of like protected. And nobody else has stumbled upon like telling him. JR has been kicking it with Simone and supporting Simone. So he knows he ain't told him yet. Nate ain't let it out the bag. Keisha ain't let it out the bag. So at some point, 
it's going to come up and honestly i feel like this is going to be the information that could potentially be a problem for thea and damon and it shouldn't be i really 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 wish this relationship would have started off a lot cleaner like truly i really really wish that i think that's all i wanted for christmas this year y'all but anyway so what happens when damon finds this out does this change anything for him i am a little concerned because when it, while damon and thea have a conversation in episode 12 and i believe him i really believe that he is genuine when he says that he's glad that he found Thea he's glad that the whole thing didn't work out with Simone because it allowed for him to find Thea I believe that I also believe that after he asked the question about had timing been different do Simone think that things would have been different and then realizing that timing actually had lined up but you were in the dark of all of the stuff that was going on I think that that's going to make him rethink a lot of stuff including Miss Thea Mays and I hate that for her, I hate that for me, I hate that for we. I have been a big, big, big supporter of the idea that Thea is not a second choice. However, in how they have written the show, <laughs> and how some of this stuff is actually playing out specifically this big old secret that only is a secret to Damon about Jordan no longer being a factor it is feeling like ultimately his character could want to be with Simone or want to give that a try now that he knows that that is not actually a line that he would be crossing and that Jordan is no longer in the picture but I also like would love to believe that once he finds this information out he's going to lean heavily into being her friend and wanting to support her through the breakup and like letting her know that he's there and he doesn't want anything from her but that would be a lot to ask for y'all because clearly they ain't trying to give me my platonic love as clean as they as i would like it to be but we're here but that's the reason why i think that they're keeping damon in the dark y'all i think it's because they're planning for damon to have a very visceral reaction that kind of interrupts or create shock waves through the entire friend group and specifically affects both simone and thea in not so great ways and I hate that for all of us. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Why do you think that the writers are keeping Damon in the dark about Jordan and Simone's breakup? Let me know your thoughts around it. Y'all gonna tell me who you shipping whether I ask or not. So go ahead and put that in the comment section. But also remember, argue with your mamas, not me, okay? So when you go in the comment section, give your thoughts on the show. Don't give your thoughts on my thoughts because go, I don't care. I really don't care okay i'm gonna talk it up with y'all but i ain't going to debate about my feelings and my thoughts thank you and i will see you in my next video bye